welcome to part of my morning routine as a working mom. My name is Carolyn, I am the mom of two. Right now I have an almost two year old and I am in my third trimester with baby number two. Um, this is going to be a glimpse inside one part of our morning routine, specifically daycare drop off. And I'm gonna share three tips for how you can enjoy it in your day. I just dropped Mia off at her daycare center. That's where I'm sitting right now. So these are actually things that I've just naturally started to do as Mia's started daycare. She's been at daycare for about nine months now and these things really help me enjoy our morning so much so that I don't dread it at all. Um, sometimes it feels like it's brutal, you know, if she's acting up or something. But most days, daycare drop-off is really nice and I use it as an opportunity to start my day off right. The first tip I have for you, I just did, and it's what I do when I'm on my way from our apartment here in Boston to her daycare center. And that is to listen to something uplifting or inspiring. This is an absolutely free one, easy to do. Usually for me, it's a podcast. I pull up Spotify on my car and it syncs to my phone. I have a playlist of podcasts I love that include all positive, kind of like uplifting, inspiring um, episodes that I've already listened to in the past. But if I just listen to like 10 or 15 minutes on my drive, it starts my day off right. You could also choose to listen to music, your favorite artist. You could even listen to the audio of a YouTube video and have your phone playing the speaker while your phone is in your purse while you drive. But no matter what it looks like for you, just listen to something that is positive and uplifting during the drive there. Now we have to turn on the car and I have to drive a bit so that we can get to our second thing of the morning. It is so cold today. It's nine degrees in Boston, which is, single digits are pretty cold for here. <laughs> I know other areas of the world, single digit temperatures in the winter are pretty normal, but here, it's a cold day. So another part of my routine with daycare drop off is to get a fancy coffee. The tip here is to do something that feels special or enjoyable. This could take many forms. It could be grab yourself a special coffee, grab yourself something interesting for breakfast, or take a walk. Other times it might be call someone so I can call my mom or call my sisters or call a friend or call my sister-in-laws to just kind of catch up and have a little bit of a special moment even though I'm doing daycare drop-off. This may add about five or 10 minutes depending on what you choose to do. If you choose to take a walk, it might add 15 or 20 minutes to the daycare drop-off routine in your morning. But it is so worth it to have something to look forward to, something that is for you, an immediate jolt of something positive once the kids are dropped off. For me, a lot of the time it is grabbing a drink and I usually get a venti at Starbucks. I don't ever drink an entire venti in one sitting. Never have I ever. But I grab a venti and then this way I can drink half of it today and then I reheat the other half of it on the stovetop tomorrow morning. Some people might think that is gross, but it is honestly what I do. So for this second tip and for the second part of my morning routine, as a working mom doing daycare drop-off, think about what you want to add to your morning drop-off that would feel truly enjoyable to you. Now by this point, I've listened to something uplifting. This morning it was an Oprah podcast and I've gotten my fancy coffee. By the way, my order was a venti misto, which just means like a lot of steamed milk. I chose almond milk. I say extra hot, especially when it's a cold day out. I got three pumps of toffee nut syrup, which is kind of sweet for me, but again, that's what makes it feel special. And topped with cinnamon powder. Okay, now we have to drive from Starbucks back to the apartment in order to get to the third tip of how to enjoy this part of your morning routine. We're now back in our apartment parking lot. I'm just now realizing I had the car running for the previous two tips. 
Hopefully the background noise wasn't so annoying. Okay, we are ready for the third tip for how you can enjoy your morning routine doing daycare drop off. This one is once you get home. I like to sit in the driveway for an extra few minutes. I wonder if some of my neighbors see me doing this every day, wondering what the heck is going on. But I sit here for just a few moments, as long as it's gonna take for me to think how I would complete this phrase. Today will be a win if. And I usually think of a work task or something productive that I want to achieve during the day while Mia is at daycare. Just one thing that would make it a huge win. Usually I get way more done in the day, but if I can focus on one priority, the one thing that will make this day a win, I feel so much more productive by the time I need to leave to go pick Mia up. Some days my workday flies by and I'm wondering what the heck did I even get done? But this routine really helps me set the intention before going back in and starting. So next time you do daycare drop off, just sit in the car an extra minute and think, today will be a win if, and then choose one thing you absolutely wanna get done. I hope this video has been helpful and inspiring. These kind of three tips from my morning routine. Write in the comments the first one that you're gonna try and I will see you in the next video. Bye.